Elon Musk once said, X will be a common digital town square where a wide range of beliefs can have healthy debate and conversation can safely take place. And honestly? You know what? I couldn't have said it any better myself. <laughs> When Twitter was still actually Twitter, pre-cyborg era, and not whatever this shit is, there were certain things you know you would find on the platform. Recycled memes that were about seven weeks too late, the most questionable and unsure news outlets reporting maybe kind of sort of news, and comments filled, and I mean filled, with a sprinkle of every ism under the sun. I'm not joking. So, I mean, not much has really changed than has it, I guess. <laughs> when, in fact, in actuality, quite a lot has changed, to be completely honest. Once upon a time, you could just hop on Twitter with the intention of roasting someone with the opposite sporting opinion than yourself and calling them a stupid, ugly, brain-dead twat with no friends. Now, that's just apparently every single user active on the platform. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Please do not swap me. No, but like, seriously, now if you go into the comments of some edgy sporting take or political opinion, it will be filled with either the most unrelated dead shit you've ever seen with zero relevance, or even worse, you'll see an OnlyFans thoughts with the genius promotional nouse of that one car salesman on TikTok. Yeah, I wanna know who I date, who I go with. Nope, but I think you think you're black. Hey, we got a 25 SST Ram truck, come holla. What was once a bastion of social media, an escape from the absolute brain rot of other socials, could now be easily mistaken for LiveLeak or some dodgy link in an underground subreddit page run by this guy. I genuinely don't think there's been a day where I haven't gone on X and seen someone get absolutely murked or expire their mortal coil, leaving the land of the living. I am now apparently Eminem. They have implemented a little button on X these days that says, not interested in this post, or I don't want to see this, to avoid certain content. And can I just be the 9 millionth and 99th person to say, that shit does not work. Like, at all. I have clicked that button, and then the literal same post has popped back up within a few hours. You had one job, Elon. One fucking job, man. Believe it or not, I don't want to see people getting literally mauled to death. That's why I'm never getting Neuralink, Elon. That's the one reason right there. If you can't stop me from seeing someone getting impaled by a bull or shot by the police on X, you got me fucked up if I'm letting you anywhere near my actual brain. That shit is definitely getting hacked, cyberpunk style, and the next thing you know, there's an ad for someone's OnlyFans seared into your actual retinas. And if that ever happened to me, I'd call it honestly. That would be me peacing out, saying goodbye to everyone, going to live with the aliens. And I mean, while we're at it, I mean, the Cybertruck looks like actual shit as well. And to all the comments I see saying it's tailored to the user, so it's just showing you what you like, I hear that. Truly, I do. But I have never not seen a video of someone dying and clicked the not interested button. I go on X for sports and shitty memes and some other random stuff, not to have my day literally ruined. Now, seeing those OnlyFans girls, however, that's another matter. So, in essence, Twitter in 2024 consists of seeing shit you probably never wanted to ever see. Like, maybe ever. And you are gonna see it. Elon will make damn sure of that. Twitter used to be known as that one weird bird app used by edgy people. Now, it's referred to as that one weird cyborg app used by edgy people, but also where the mentally unstable now linger as well. I am both, by the way. I once used to log onto Twitter and think I was intellectually advanced using the higher form of social media away from all the cretins. You saw that TikTok meme 10 minutes after it was released? <laughs> Honestly, mate, that is cute. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Uh. I saw that beauty three weeks late with about 2,000 different remakes of the exact same idea with a little guy in a box reacting to it all. Now, I have normal, sane friends, and when I talk to them about something involving X lore, they look at me like you would an injured deer. They don't know whether to laugh and act like nothing's wrong and everything's normal, or to just put me down out of my misery with a cartoonishly giant rock to the skull. I mean, there's nothing quite like sitting around the dinner table with your loving family, joining hands in prayer, and then just casually bringing up, <laughs> so, did anyone see that post about a guy that shoved a gas pump up his ass in broad daylight? <laughs> no? Didn't, no one saw that? Was it, it was just me? <laughs> it was just me. You may have heard the term chronically online being thrown around in recent times, but when they say that, what they really mean is uses X. Twitter in 2024, I think, could best be compared to a zoo. A digital zoo, if you will. So, I mean, you were kind of right there, Elon. I mean, I, I guess. We've got the common animals, the more abstract animals, and then we have the Zimbabwean snow cactus alligator tiger thing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that shit is, um, that shit is wild. The thing is, with this specific X zoo is, pause on that, it's unlike any other, and is completely flipped on its head. 
the common animals are rare, and the Zimbabwean snow cactus alligator tiger thing is around every other corner. <laughs> Moving swiftly on from <laughs> whatever that segment was, we have the blue tick paradox. Now, you may know about the blue tick on Twitter and how it used to verify people of prominence, so Timmy, aged 8, wouldn't be tricked into joining a gift card giveaway by some random nonce posing as PewDiePie or someone like that. Which, I mean, I don't think anyone really had a problem with or put too much thought into, honestly. The normal individual didn't see the blue check mark and fantasise about having one of their own. They kind of got the point. I mean, that'd be so weird and kind of sad, honestly, if someone was that invested. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I mean, really? Needless to say, in my humble opinion, this shit fueled the decline of Twitter and officially marked the transition into X. It's actually not that deep. I'll be, I'll be honest, it's, it's, not, it's not a big deal. The blue tick in 2024 allows motherfuckers to think they're him when they are actually still just massive neeks. Paying for the blue check mark doesn't give you authority, the amount of hair follicles on your head does that. This also allowed the opportunity to earn money off of post engagement and interactions. The amount of just, for light of a better word, bullshit I've seen from this is insane. Disguised ads, false advertising, and just selling the most bizarre shit imaginable, it's just all very strange. That's not even mentioning just from an entertainment standpoint, that sucks, as pages will see other pages post something that banged and will then copy the exact same formula and post it themselves for that sweet, sweet moolah, leading to a never-ending loop of the same shitty post circulating for hours. Purgatory. Some, some might call that concept purgatory, but I mean, not me, not me. With the emphasis on monetary gain, bots and non-human accounts have had a sharp incline. I mean, at least, it seems that way to me personally, and from what I've seen. Although, that could just be the general population of X these days, and I mean, I wouldn't put it past that idea. To be fair to Elon though, he spent like 40 odd billion dollars on Twitter, so I mean, the game is the game, I guess. Uh, get your bread up, big dog, get your bread up. At least the account BrutalDeaths underscore 90 can earn revenue for scarring and mentally torturing the masses of X for their hard work now. Hard work being uh, posting people literally dying, but I mean, there we go, there we go. Now, with all that, that's not to say Twitter isn't goaded anymore. I mean, it still remains the smoking area of social media, and there's only slight brain rot on the platform at the moment. If the world was ending, I'd still check on Twitter. If I needed a laugh or a cry, I'd still go on Twitter. If I wanted to watch a meme about a baby being the poster child for four seasons, I'd take a look on Twitter. Wait, baby poster what now? Who wants to go to the Four Seasons Orlando? Me! I would be absolutely exuberated to join the family on a voyage to Four Seasons, Orlando. The blend of luxurious amenities, top-notch service, and the proximity to Disney is going to make for an unforgettable experience. So basically, in summary, Twitter in 2024 is kind of wild. Shit is wholesome, scary, and to be honest, insane, all wrapped into one horror social media platform. It's definitely changed from the good old days with certain shit going bad, but it just still is the best. After all that, after all I've said, uh, I don't know, maybe the tism has got to me at this point, but uh, yeah, it just is. It just is still the best. I mean, where else can you see this? What I'm really trying to say here is, X might be a bit of a mess right now. And yeah, I've seen more people getting physically harmed than I maybe ever wanted. And so what if this thing destroyed the OG blue bird and replaced it with this stupid cyborg shit and ruined my entire existence? But there's just something so wonderful about that, you know? There's just something so wholesome and true and yeah, yeah, that glue is definitely hitting me right now. And with that, that's it. Let me know what you think about X and uh, yeah, I'm now gonna go touch grass to erase whatever this shit is. Uh, in a bit. I mean, there's nothing quite like sitting around the dinner table with your loving family, joining hands in prayer, and then just casually bringing up, <laughs> so, did anyone see that post about a guy that shoved a gas pump up his ass in broad daylight? <laughs> no? Didn't, no one saw that? Was it, it was just me? <laughs> it was just me.